tell you how this is gonna work. You're gonna you be. You ain't gonna tell me shit. Listen. Suck my. D Shut up. Listen to me. Suck my. D you f man. Listen. Suck my. D you will be here in the court on Monday. You'll be here sucking my. D you will listen to me now. Go f yourself. Okay. As you can see from the archival footage, we have bent the tree's body, but we still haven't broken its will. Why won't you scream? You're all so immature. I can't believe you're messing with me at a time like this. Oh God, its head actually looks like a ball sack. I'm never gonna unsee that now. Good evening, Father Fungus, which is what I hear you're called. Wait, where did... Oh, hello. Yes, I'm Dr. Sherman. I'm here to issue a formal apology. It was rude of my staff to call you ball sack head. Oh, God! Seriously? Cat ears? I go through the trouble to get transmogrified. I use my connections in the cat person dimension to get you some anomalous tech, and you're grumpy it has cat ears? That's just ungrateful. It's been a tough match, but it looks like Siren Head's gonna take the belt. Oh, a low blow from Cartoon Cat! And look who's entered the ring is Long Horse with the grapple, and he's out of there! Good afternoon, agents. Today's briefing is on the person of interest known as Dado, or Dado, however you pronounce it. Dado is what we call a parapharmacologist, meaning he makes anomalous medicine. A self-proclaimed fine capitalist, Dado will sell his wares to anyone who can get in contact with him. Hell, he'll give you free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. Pause to read this sample of Dado's speech. You may have noticed Dado's unique speech patterns. These idiosyncrasies almost universally lead to misunderstandings between Dado and the client, and usually the client gets something that they did not intend. It is unknown whether these are innocent misunderstandings on Dado's part, or if he's sending you a monkey paw-esque consequence for your actions. Some Dado anomalies we have in containment include the pill that turns you elderly and randy, as well as the Uber of pooping. Got a whole Dado playlist on the Site42 YouTube. Ugh. Bitch slapped by a giant mushroom and wake up in a tripophobia nightmare. Do, do you guys know the way out of here? Talk and roll! Is this a prank? Because I swear to it say- It is no prank, bitch! Hey! Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy, Stop it, are sir. tripping balls. How did the dancing piano get out of its containment chamber? What do you mean it had a key? Hmm. Always while I'm working. Hey, sandworm, cut that out! Where the f am I? Seriously, though, where the fuck is he? We got a breach, people! 035 is out and about! Now move, move, move! Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Sherm C1653, you'll never get away with this. You can't possibly- Silence, 2987. You know as well as I do that I cannot stop my work until it is finished. Only then will Raymond be avenged. The Met Gala outfits have dropped. I will be giving my opinions. And Kardashian has been redacted. Desmond, tell me you didn't redact a whole ass person. A Kardashian at the Met Gala! I don't care if you consider it a public service! Sometimes I worry that the Foundation redacts too many things, too many black boxes, too many data expunged. Then I see this and realize I am no longer conflicted. I found this corn maze. Um, it says there's an admission, but I mean, there's no one here watching it. Fifteen days after the posting of this video, the poster was found within the corn maze dead. All of his teeth had been removed, likely as a repayment for the unpaid entrance fee. I shouldn't have to warn you about this as Foundation agents, but just in case, don't fuck with the Fey folk. What that video showed you is true. The first time 682 interacted with 999, the reaction was a big ol' stomp -a squish But that doesn't cover what happened after. Of the two of them, technically, 999 won that altercation. 999's abilities affected 682 so much that the giant lizard actually passed out from laughing and being too happy. Of course, after 999 was removed from the situation, 682 woke up and released a laughter wave that made every person in its radius double over in laughter, completely incapacitated, which is when it breached and killed most of them. 999 even still wants to hang out with 682. I'm not saying we're gonna do it anytime soon, but it's on the table because 999 won that fight.
Hey Brian, I've got a total lunar detonation to clean up, so I'm gonna need you to activate the Ennui protocol. I know we're only allowed to do global amnestics eight times a year. This is number five, we're fine, okay? And we're gonna need a new moon to cover this all up, so why don't we go to Termina? They have time loops, so they have infinite moons. We can just take one of theirs. I know Termina's moon has a face. Just put it on the dark side where the Earth can't see it. Do I have to do your whole job for you? Thanks, Brian. Deliver in 30 minutes or less, so you're not getting your bonus this year. Bye bye now. All right, that's number seven of the giraffe cat entities. But similar to cartoon cat? Is, is that an eighth? Oh, back up! Nobody is as excited for the big celebration as I am. I am not scientifically possible! You have a dinner date for seven. What time do you arrive? 7 a.m. Case the restaurant, run background checks on the staff. Can the cook be trusted? If not, I gotta kill him. Dispose of the body, replace him with my own guy, no later than 4.30. You're ready. Really? No. Everything you just said was insane. Here's 999. And if you want to know more about the game, follow the link in my bio and... Okay, 999. You're an anime waifu now. Let's go into hiding before the neckbeards show up. Send in the next one. Picked up outside of Dayton, Ohio. What is your anomaly? Oh. Uh, and what you gonna do about it? I do. Huh? Guards! Hey, you. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. Can I help you? Get over here. Oh, you want to be contained! I'll deploy the task force immediately. To be honest, the SCP Foundation has been investigating the cognitohazardous nature of this little lad who loves berries and cream and has taken over TikTok. But you didn't ask the SCP. You asked the SPC. And so now I've got to call up our liaison at the Shark Punching Center. That's right, Dr. Sherman. If you want a haymaker or a hammerhead, you call the Shark Punching Center. I don't care if this shark is a little lad. I'm going to box it like baby shark and... Huh? Oh, it's, it's a person. It's not a shark. Well... That's just fine with me! I've heard that song way too many times! I'm ready to give that little lad a salation sucker punch! Name a time and place, you berries and cream bitch! I hope this is a lesson to you all on the merits of proper spelling. Breach containment, they said. Go outside, they said. Go touch grass, they said. Ugh. Go check out the corn while you're out there. Last time I listened to 1846. Where the fuck am I? This appeared as a moral dilemma Cause at first it was weird Though I swore to eliminate the worst of the plague That devoured humanity It's true, I was vague on the how So how can it be that you Have shown me the light It's a brand new day And the sun That's right my friends We need the few the Proud, the Uwu. We are forming a new mobile task force, which the staff is affectionately nicknamed the Mobile Task Furries. To make a long story short, there's a new memetic agent out in the wild. SCP-3312 turns non-furries into furries. These memetically caused furries go downhill, from spending all of their life savings on fursuits to eventually going feral and needing to be unalived. However, people who are already members of the furry fandom are immune to its effects. That's why the Foundation needs a few good furries. Think you're up for the job? Submit an application video in your tactical fursuit, and we'll pass it on to recruitment. Secure. Contain. Protect. With all the disparate universes and canons the SCP Foundation deals with, the end of the world is basically a Tuesday to us. But there is one end of the world that I think is particularly special. SCP-J ah, is the procrastination rock. Like it says on the tin, it's a rock that makes you procrastinate. How could that, of all things, end the world? The documentation was never finished, so the rock was eventually accidentally thrown away. Some person or organization outside of the Foundation found the rock and found a way to duplicate it. Multitudes of the procrastination stone were ground down into dust and then distributed worldwide using water supplies and crop dusting. Oh no, I think I hear the chemtrail conspiracists coming. Eventually, all of humanity just laid down and died because why do something now if we can put it off till later? You know, staff, I gotta be honest, there's something about this presentation that I'm just not feeling. I'm gonna come back to this later. I was walking along the lake one morning, and I saw something floating on the surface. You do not recognize the bodies in the water! 
Hey there, Site42 fam! It's come to my attention that not a lot of people know that we have a Site42 SCP merch store. We've commissioned art from multiple artists to make SCP-related merch, and we've got stickers for the Site42 channel. And so if you want some SCP merch, as well as helping support the Site42 channel, teespring.com slash stores slash Site42. Thank you in advance, and cheers!